is Jordan. Welcome to Jordan's Art for Wellness. This quick under 15 minute flow is to really open up the hips and the lower body as best as possible, mainly concentrating in the hips. So if you've been stagnant at a desk or just watching Netflix and curling up on the couch, enjoying your holiday, this practice is for you. So when you're ready, join me on your back with your legs extended. Tuck those shoulder blades underneath, really open up. Begin to connect with your breath. Just feel the natural rise and fall of your belly. And on your exhale, begin to bend your knees in and hug them towards your chest. Begin to rock this side to side. Gaze in the opposite direction of your knees for gentle spinal articulation. And go ahead and take one more each side. Bringing it back to center on your exhale, tuck your chin to you, towards your chest. Bringing the forehead to the knees, rounding out the cervical spine. Just taking a gentle release. Inhale, lower the head down. Keep that right leg hugged in as best as possible. Toe points up to the ceiling, bringing the knee to the outside of your shoulder. From here, peace fingers to those big toes, bottom of the foot up to the sky, knee down towards the shoulder for your half happy baby. Really opening up through the thigh here. If that feels good, go ahead and extend out try that variation opening up the leg to the side you can take a gentle twist extending that right left arm out towards the sides and following most importantly make sure your hips are nice and square and stay rooted down to your mat inhale bring this right leg back to center and exhale supine twist bringing it across your body right arm out stretches Looking at that right thumb, shoulder blades glued to your mat, taking a gentle twist, bringing some suppleness back into our spine. Inhale, bring this back to center. Hug that right knee back into towards your chest. Drop the hands down. Begin to draw a circle with this right toe up towards the ceiling. As the hip feels good, begin to really exaggerate this opening up and straightening the leg, maybe all the way up to the ceiling and all the way around. One more circle in this direction and then gently we'll switch, crossing the body. Be very loose with this. Really roll on to that opposite leg to begin to give that glute a nice little massage on your left side. And go ahead and take one more here, bringing that right leg back in towards your chest. And exhale, switch, bringing the left leg in, toe points up, right leg extends. Really compressing that left knee to the outside of your rib cage. And we'll take a half happy baby on this side. Peace fingers to those big toes, bottom of the foot up towards the ceiling. Keep that right hip glued as best as possible. Option to outstretch that right hand towards the side. If you'd like to take a little chest opening and length, lengthening posture. On your inhale, release that, bring your knee towards center, and on your exhale, take a supine twist. Bring that left knee across your body, left arm outstretches, gaze follows. Taking a gentle twist here, keeping both shoulders glued on your mat, twisting from your thoracics, from the center of your spine. Yes, a gentle ringing massages the internal organs, aids in your digestion. And inhale, unravel, come back to center, hug that knee into your chest. Remember to drop those hands down, we'll take circles. Drawing circles in the ceiling with your left toe, just moving throughout that hip joint. And as it feels warm, begin to really exaggerate these circles, making them bigger, 
Lengthening the leg all the way up towards your nose. One more circle. Gently bringing it back to center and we'll switch directions. If you're crossing your body, really remember to roll on to that opposite glute. Give it a nice little massage. Allow that compression to work for you as it opens up. And one more circle. Bring that left knee back to your chest and inhale, meet that right. Take your hands back behind you, find length. Really reach the toes to the front of your mat. Point and flex, roll out the ankles and exhale, hug your knees back to your chest. On and roll to your right side and press yourself up to seated. Find lotus, sit on a block. If you want your hips higher than those knees, roll those shoulder blades down and away and just take a moment here to acclimate yourself to seated since we popped up pretty quickly. From here, we'll cradle our leg in, cradling the left leg first, giving a nice little bear hug in, shin as parallel to the front of your mat as possible, squeezing it in, finding movement, just loosening up this hip. We'll take that bottom right shin as parallel to the front of your mat as well. Drop your left leg on top. Make sure those stacked shins are pushed as far away as possible, stacking knee and ankle on either side as evenly as possible as well. This knee is really lifted, that's perfectly fine. If you are not feeling this stretch, you're welcome to take figure four, which I'll demonstrate next. So if you're in this posture, inhale, lengthen, exhale, leading with your chest, begin to fall forward and dropping that head. If you're unfamiliar with figure four, just need a quick reminder, we'll cross that left ankle over the right knee, drop down onto your back and go ahead and bring this right knee towards your chest. If you are taking a figure four variation, you're welcome to stay on your back and I'll guide you when we're ready to switch. Taking three more breaths to honor this posture. Inhale, lift up, and then unravel that top left leg. You're welcome to extend the legs out in front of you. Take windshield wipers, extend the legs, give them a nice little shake, anything that feels good. Once you're nice and set with that movement, come back into seated. This time we'll have our left leg on bottom and cradle in that right leg. Knee to elbow, bottom of foot to opposite elbow, and give it a nice little squeeze in. Rocking this side to side, loosening up this hip as best as possible. And we'll take our fire logs, dropping that right shin on top of the left knee, stacks over ankle as best as possible. Again, if the knee is lifted, it's okay on this side, as long as you feel the stretch. Again, if you're on your back, go ahead and switch to that figure four. Inhale, lengthen through the chest and exhale, fold over. Holding this posture here, really opening up the hips. Oftentimes our hips carry tension and emotion there. So really hold this posture, work with your breath, lengthening the inhales and the exhales to really let that go. Be kind to your body, be kind to the left side compared to the right, they are different. Oftentimes one side is more flexible, the other side is stronger. It's perfectly natural. Just honoring your body where it is today and sinking in a couple more breaths. On your inhale, slowly come up, unravel those legs, extend them long, give them a nice little shake, or take those windshield wipers variation. If you're on your back, we'll go ahead and join you there. So from seated, extend the legs out, come back into your Shavasana, hands to your heart and belly, bringing the energy and focus in, fully surrendering and letting go. As always, there's no rush to find movement, but when you are ready, my hands at Heart Center, I'd like to thank you for joining me for this very quick flow to open up the hips and a little bit of the lower body. 
So whatever you do next, I hope you at least have less tension in the lower body and you enjoy the rest of your day. All my lights and all my love. Namaste.